How's it going, Firebase developers? Welcome to another episode of Ask Firebase, the show where we answer your burning Firebase questions. I'm Jen Person, and today I'm joined by Malcolm Deck. Hey, everybody. I'm the Android lead for the Firebase Authentication SDK. I work together with the leads on iOS and web and our backend team to provide you a way to sign into your apps. So glad to have you on the show today. Are you ready to answer some auth-related questions? Really excited about it. It's all I do every day. Here we go. Our first question comes to us from Anno, and they want to know, can we use a Firebase project in two different applications? So in their case, if they're working on a restaurant application, which has like client side and restaurant side, you know, they want to have like the people who want to look at the restaurants and then the people who make the restaurants, um, should they put those in the same Firebase project? You absolutely can. In the Firebase console, you can add as many different applications to the same project as you want across different platforms. You can have multiple Android apps associated with the same Firebase project. If you're concerned about access control related to um, the restaurant side versus the client side, this is a great opportunity to use our custom claims API, where you can set some extra information on the token and then use uh, rules in the Firebase real-time database to be able to restrict access to certain data. And adding on to that, I mean, if you really wanted to have two different projects, you certainly could. And then you could, in your backend, use like the admin SDK to access the different uh, databases and sync information. But honestly, it makes a lot more sense just to have it in the same database. And then you could, let's say you're denormalizing your data. Uh, someone adds a review, you want to put it under the user and then also under the restaurant. It's much easier to have that all in the same database and you can use something like Cloud Functions to do that. Cool. How are we looking? We good? Can you see my armpit sweat? No? OK. Our next question comes to us from Stack Overflow. I love me some Stack Overflow. This user wants to know, am I able to link an anonymous user account to an existing user account? Right. So this is a great question because it's a pretty complicated use case, but one that people come across a lot. So some user is in your app, and they have some data, which is why you've logged in anonymously, and they have some data associated with that account. And you want to link it to the account that they already created in on some other device, for example. So there's a conflict here in that there's some user data associated with the anonymous account and some user data associated with the existing account. So when you try to link, uh, we're going to throw back an error at you saying that the account you're trying to link this to already exists. However, in Firebase UI, we help you solve this use case um, by providing you some additional tools to help you through that merging process. Yeah, if you haven't used Firebase UI before, um, whatever platform you're on, I highly recommend you check it out, especially if you're incorporating multiple means of authentication. It, that cuts out so much code on your side. It's just as simple as like a single line that you add to add another uh, means of authentication. Right. I think on Android, you add a total of six lines. You pull in one extra SDK. And it's all open source on GitHub, so you can see exactly what we're doing. But that allows us to think about your complicated use cases. And you can just go back to building your app, which is what you want to be doing. Right. And in this case, let's say you still um, have you know, data that you've stored in the database uh, for the anonymous user and uh, the authenticated existing user account, it's still going to be on you to determine how to put that together. Um, again, this could be possibly used for Cloud Functions because you can trigger them for when a new user is added. Um, you could try to find some means of either using an HTTP trigger or something like that to then take a look at the two accounts and merge the actual data together. Right. In general, this is a complicated problem. So the fact that you have a question about it is totally natural. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great question. Full Moon wants to know, how can I create multiple accounts at the same time? OK. This is a prime use case for the admin SDK. Typically, when you want to be creating multiple accounts at once, it's because you're provisioning accounts for other people. The admin SDK has a bunch of tools for you to be able to provision accounts and set a bunch of extra information about them at setup time so that users don't have to set all the information in their app. Also, something I've seen a few times that people have tried to do on, say, Stack Overflow is make them from the client and then keep logging out of that client and then logging in again to the next user. That's definitely not something you're going to want to do. I think this is a great chance to use the admin SDK. Right. That's definitely possible, um, but not the recommended approach. Actually, from the client side, uh, we do have throttling of up to 100 accounts from the same IP address per hour. And using the admin SDK, we don't have that restriction. So we, we definitely want you to use the admin SDK to solve this problem. Cool. Thank you. This is a question that I would like to answer. So do you want to read the question? Absolutely. Morgan O'Neill on Twitter asks, 
can you populate the functions config from a JSON file instead of specifying all the properties and values individually with the command line interface? Like a lot of our questions, the short answer is no. Uh, however, it is possible to, you could write yourself a command line script, and I'm gonna make an example up here. Maybe, I don't know, one of these sites. It's gonna be on here. <laughs> it's over here. <laughs> so that you can see an example of that so that you can have the, all the commands that you want run at once. Um, and then it's much easier than having to individually write each of those that you want those properties one after the other. Well, Malcolm, thanks so much for coming on the show. It's great to have you on talking about auth and thank all of you for your queries that you've tagged with hashtag Ask Firebase. That's been really helpful in us building this content. We really can't do it without you. While you're here, go ahead and subscribe to the Firebase channel so you can see all of our latest content. Uh, we have a lot of great stuff out here. We have Firecasts, we have Meet Firebase, a whole lot of other great stuff. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time on a future episode of Ask Firebase. I think it's a metaphor for the human condition, right? The contrast of clutter versus space is really intriguing. A lot of attention went into the detail.